statistical independence of random variables okay so here we are considering two random variables x and y and we are defining two events a and b x x value is a is equal to x less than or equal to x whereas the event b is equal to what y less than or equal to y when do you say that these two events are statistically independent these two events these two random variables are said to be statistically independent only if the joint probability joint probability of this is equal to product of individual probabilities then we say that these two events are statistically in even uh, independent that is probability of x less than or equal to x y less than or equal to y should be equal to probability of x less than or equal to x and probability of y less than or equal to y okay and we know that from the definition of uh, distribution function the probability of x less than or equal to x y less than or equal to y this is called the joint distribution what is this called joint distribution so what is fxy of x comma y it is the probability of getting x less than or equal to x y less than or equal to y this is the definition of joint distribution now what is a probability of x less than or equal to x it is the marginal uh, distribution function fx of x and probability of y less than or equal to y is what it is the marginal distribution function fy of y okay so the joint distribution function will be equal to marginal distribution function with respect to x into the marginal distribution function with respect to y okay so when two two uh, random variables are statistically independent then it will satisfy the condition the joint distribution function will be equal to product of marginal distribution functions and we know that what is joint density function the joint density function is derivative of distribution function okay so from this uh, the distribution function we will be getting small fxy of x comma y that is joint density function will be equal to the product of marginal density functions what is this fx of x and fy of y are called fx of x and fy of y are called marginal density functions okay so when uh, when in any two random variables satisfy these two conditions either marginal distribution density say joint density functions are equal to product of marginal density functions or the joint distribution function is equal to product of marginal distribution functions okay when these two equations are satisfied then we say that the those two random variables are statistically independent okay now what is the conditional distribution function we know for conditional distribution function from the conditional distribution function we know that fx of x given y less than or equal to y fx of x given y less than or equal to y how do you write it as fx of x by y fx of x by y is equal to what the joint distribution function divided by the marginal density function marginal distribution function with respect to y now if two events are statistically independent if two events are statistically independent what is the condition it, it will satisfy fxy of x comma y is equal to fx of x into fx fy of y yes or no it is fx of x into fy of y okay in the numerator we get in the denominator we have fy of y so fy of y will get cancel so what happens the conditional distribution function will be equal to what marginal distribution function in the case of statistically independent variables okay if the two random variables are statistically independent what is the condition here ma the condition is that this is called conditional distribution function no the conditional distribution function will be equal to marginal distribution function okay similarly fy of y given y by y by x fy of y by x will be equal to what fy of y what do you what do you get in the denominator we get fx of x in the denominator so fx of x in the numerator will get cancelled so we left with fy of y in the denominator similarly in the case of density functions if two random variables are independent random variables then small fx of x by y 
small fx of x by y is equal to what? fx of x only. Small fy of y by x is equal to fy of y, okay? So in the case of uh, statistically independent, independent uh, events, so the dens marginal density functions and marginal distributions functions will be equal to statistical density functions and statistical distribution functions, okay? So hence, the condition on density function do not affect the random variable. So what is the here? We have a condition, no? So if this condition will not affect the random variable in the case of statistically independent random variables, okay? So in this problem, the joint probability density function is given f x y of x comma y is equal to one by 18 e power minus x by six plus y by three. And x value is greater than or equal to zero, y value is also greater than or equal to zero show that x and y are independent random variables okay so if the if the two random variables are independent in that case the what is that here the joint density function will be equal to the product of marginal density function that is f x comma y of x comma y is equal to f x of x into f y of y okay the joint density function will be equal to product of marginal density functions, okay? So we have to check that condition. We have to verify that condition. So this is the condition for statistically independent. If this condition is satisfied, then we say that those two events are statistically independent, okay? For this, what do you have to do? We have to find out what is the marginal density functions, that is f y of y and f x of x, okay? f y of y, what do you have to do? We have to integrate this conditional density function with respect to x, whereas the limits are minus infinity to plus infinity. To get f y of y, we have to integrate with respect to x, whereas the limits are minus infinity to plus infinity, okay? So take the integration limits minus infinity to plus infinity, substitute f x of x, x comma y. It is one by 18 e power minus x by six plus y by three u of x, u of y dx. What is u of x? u of x indicates that the x value is greater than or equal to zero. u of y indicates that the y value is greater than or equal to zero, okay? Now, what is that we are doing? We are integrating with respect to x. So the y terms are constant. We will be writing all y terms outside the integral and we will be integrating only with respect to x, okay? So integrate this with respect to x. Finally, we'll be getting the answer is equal to one by three e power minus y by three u of y, okay? So this is our f y of y. Similarly, we have to find out what is f x of x, okay? So for x f x of x, we have to integrate with respect to y, whereas the limits of y is minus infinity to plus infinity, okay? So uh, all x terms are constant in this case, write all x terms outside the integral. Now we are integrating only with respect to y. Now y value, u of y is given, no? u of y is nothing but it is having value one only for y greater than or equal to zero. So that is why the limits of integration will become zero to infinity, okay? e power minus y by three dy, okay? So, now just do this integration and substitute the limits. We'll be getting f x of x is equal to one by six e power minus x by six u of x. Now multiply this f x of x with f y of y. Just now we found no f y of y. Multiply f x of x and f y of y. Verify the answer. What is the answer we get? And check whether this answer is equal to f x y of x comma y. This is given in the problem. If it is equal to f x y of x comma y, then we say that these two events are statistically independent. Okay, if any two random variables satisfies the condition for statistically independent, then we say that those two random variables are statistically independent. So here in this problem, it is satisfying that condition that is f x y of x comma y is equal to f x of x into f y of y, okay? So these two random variables x and y are statistically independent.